So here we have a nice multi-stemmed, fairly tall little shrub growing beside a creek here. And if we get up closer to it, we can notice a few things. One is that it has little fruit coming. So it was, it did flower recently. And um, this plant actually is one of the very first things to flower in the spring. And it's one of the very first things to leaf out too. So when you're walking around in, in um, more natural areas, very first thing in the spring and you see some green in the understory it could very well be this plant want to look at a few other features so we got some kind of fairly uh, long and oval shaped leaves sometimes uh, you can oops get back here a little one you can look at the very tip of it sort of quite pointed sometimes the little mid vein looks like it goes out right to the very end of the leaf and I know you can't smell it on video but it has this kind of interesting sort of cucumber smell oh here's a fruit that's a little bit further along so further in the season these will turn to kind of a nice dark purpley color um, if you squish up the, one of the leaves and get a nice deep breath of it. It has this sort of cucumber-like smell to it. And if you bust open one of the stems and sort of split it open, it's easier if you have a pocket knife or something, and look at the very inside part, it has what's called a chambered pith. So it's got a bunch of little side walls that run through the very center of the, of the stem, which can be another helpful identification trait. You might also notice that the leaves kind of have this what's called a whorled arrangement. So a lot of the stem here is bare and most of the leaves sort of come out right at the end kind of in a in a whorl. So that can also be another helpful identification trait. So what we're looking at here is the Indian plum.